You're in the Diamond Lane on Winnipeg's Classic 107, a program brought to you by the Diamond Gallery. My name is Simon Rusnak, and though Halloween is still a few weeks away, on this superstitious Friday the 13th, Charlene Van Buchenhout of Downlevert Museum is here to talk about what the museum has planned for the spooky season. Thanks so much for coming by, Charlene. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Well, tell me a little bit about what's going on. Okay, so... At the museum this year for Halloween, from the 18th to the 31st, we have a program called Dracula Unearthed. Mm -hmm. It's basically an immersive Victorian experience in the dark. So, if you haven't been to Downward Museum, it's um, on 61 Carlton Street. It's, uh, it's an old Victorian mansion, 1895, built for Sir Hugh John MacDonald. Uh -huh. um, now it's a museum, and it's still it's stuffed full of Victorian stuff. We've got... Um, uh, Victorian era, like tchotchkes and uh, sofas and uh, furniture mm -hmm. and everything like that. So it's a great setting for the 1897 Dracula. So what we've done is we've gotten some artists to create props and um, like audio visual displays in the wow. house that are all Dracula inspired. And we're going to give you flashlights. All right. You're going to get led into the house, fully dark, no lights, oh. give you these little flashlights, and you get to discover the novel. The novel is actually written in pieces, like not one right. linear narrative. It's all written in newspaper articles and found journals um, and, the, and diaries. And so that's how you are going to discover uh, the house and the novel Dracula. So you get to look in all the rooms and you get to pick up newspaper articles. You get to hear um, conversations that happen in the master bedroom. Uh, Lucy turning into a vampire. You get to um, look at Van Helsing's lab and look yeah, yeah. at all of his like medical books and specimens and that sort of thing. And then you'll get a signal uh -huh. and everyone will go up into the attic for a finale. Well, that that sounds awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I, I remember like reading through uh, Stoker's Dracula. It came mm -hmm. in like this vampire box set that, that someone got me. It was a whole bunch of stories uh, about vampires. But if you're not familiar with the story, do, mm -hmm. do you have to be familiar with it? For no, the, for the... no. And that's the great thing uh, because uh, we set it up like you're a detective and you're coming in to solve a mystery. You don't really need to know the novel beforehand. You're mm -hmm. going to figure it out and discover it on while you're in the house. Yeah, yeah, so you, no need to know anything about it. If you've seen the movies, that's fine, but it'll be very different. Ooh. If you've read the book, I think you'll get a really nice interactive treat. Well, I, I think that's what's really cool. I mean, you, you say it's uh, immersive. Mm -hmm. um, so talk a little bit more about that. I mean, like, I, we were talking off the air, and I was saying I'm not really a fan of the jump scare walking through right. a dark space. Uh, right. What about, like, you know, if you are a fan or if you aren't, uh, what's the process like kind of moving through the museum in the dark? Oh, okay, so yeah, it's not a jump scare. No one's going to jump out at you. Okay. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> scare you. It's more going to be a mounting, like, creepy feeling. And that's what we're trying to create, this, like, creepy feeling um, of walking through, like, a, a house in the dark. Um, and especially if you've been to the museum, mm -hmm. you'll know it's kind of creepy already in mm -hmm. the light. Um, and we were <laughs> we were talking before about um, this this uh, immersive show in New York right now, Sleep No More. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you can go around that place, and they've got... Um, um, things you can look at, like I was talking about, I was ended up in a detective agency for mm -hmm. a while, just looking through all the files and like looking at all the things, and you can do that here as well. It is a museum, so um, there are some rules, but we've opened it up a lot, so you can actually pick things up and touch them and move through the space in a sort of like VIP experience, oh, like nice. a, witnessing and experiencing the museum like you've never. So you can you can go before. under those velvet ropes. That's right. We're taking the velvet <laughs> ropes down. Oh boy. Yep, moving some of the barriers, and uh, and yeah, I think it'll be a really cool experience for someone who even has been to the museum before. Totally, so, yeah, it's a totally it. new way to, to take it in. That's right. Um, yeah. When we were speaking off the air, for those of you uh, unfamiliar with Sleep No More, it's a, a show in New York coming coming from London, and, and it's an interactive form of theater. But there mm -hmm. are uh, actors involved and dancers. It's an incredible production. Are there actors in in this? Oh yeah, no, there are no All actors. Right. The actors have been. Uh, working beforehand. So mm -hmm. we do have audio conversations and uh, scenes from, from Dracula, uh, but you'll listen to those as the detective, mm -hmm. kind of hearing these like ghosts from the past, kind of uh, fitting all these clues together. But they'll be in your head. So no one's uh, walking around um, I'm going to jump out and scare you. It's just going to be your own fear in the house with only a few other people. We're not letting a lot of people into the house. So it's not packed. It's not like you're trying no. to make your way through. Nope. 20 people maximum. And it's kind of a big, it's big enough house that you'll find yourself alone probably a lot of the time. 
Yeah, it, it definitely is. And I mean, I, I really love how you're kind of embracing the creepy for the Halloween season. Totally. I mean, gotta love the Victorian mansion, but I agree. There's something where you go, oh, hold on. Yep. Something. Victorians were super into the macabre and they were Absolutely. obsessed with, uh, you know, and, and vampires too. Like Bram Stoker yeah. wrote that novel in 1897. It's very Victorian, uses all the Victorian, like there's blood transfusions and like telegrams and a lot of the use of like the gramophones mm-hmm. and the graphophones. Um, all the Victorian technologies and innovations are being um, uh, shown in this in the novel and in the house as well. So you'll see all those things. So as well, we have this lecture series. Uh, that's called, what I was going to yeah. ask you about <laughs> next. Is like so. I mean, that's a, that's a lot going on within the museum itself. That's right. But then there's more information if you want to dive into Stoker's telling of Dracula, right? Yeah, exactly. So Dracula Unearthed is the experience. Um, but we also have this companion lecture series called mm-hmm. Dracula Speaks, and it's um, it's going to be with uh, Professor Vanessa Warren. She's a Victor- professor of Victorian studies at the U of M, and she's got these great topics. Uh, so it's every Sunday, uh, mm-hmm. starting this Sunday. Um, um, the monster and the typewriter is the first one. So that's mm-hmm. where you see all the Victorian technology coming into play <laughs> um, and how that really helped the heroes of Dracula like solve the mystery and figure out what to do. Um, it was a typewriter. It wasn't a stake. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Uh, huh. It was. <laughs> uh, um, and then the second Sunday, we have Dracula's Doctors, which is a lot about Victorian um, medical stuff. So blood transfusions, um, a lot of blood, blood, uh, psychiatric asylums, yeah, some, some asylum yeah, business like, yeah. And, and, and the like. So. Me- yeah, medicines, that sort of thing. A lot of Van Helsing stuff. Uh, and then the last one is about um, burial plots and uh, cemetery design and what Dracula has to teach us about about those things. So again, yeah. those are those are on Sundays at one thirty, correct? Sundays at one thirty, and those are yeah. taking place at the museum. At the museum, yeah. So uh, I guess the last question I really have to ask you is, wh- where can people get tickets? People get get tickets at Dracula Unearthed dot brown paper tickets dot com all right you, if you go to the downvert museum dot ca website it'll have all the information there but you can also call 204-943-2835 and uh, book your tickets uh, through us there. Nice. Well, I'm sure we'll put that all on the website. Charlene, thanks so much for coming to tell us about well, this. Well, thank you so it much. Sounds like my such, it sounds like such a cool Halloween event. You should go. Oh, I definitely will. <laughs> okay. So, beginning on October 18th, Down the Vert After Dark presents Dracula Unearthed, an exploration of Bram Stoker's gothic account of the mysterious stranger. As you heard Charlene mention, it's an immersive experience, though not jump scare, and I, for one, am very thankful for that. You get to explore the old Victorian home. For more information, head to friendsofdownlevert.ca and we'll be sure to get that all up on the website.